Mark chapter 11, verse 1. And when they came nigh to Jerusalem, the city, city, uh, capital, where the temple is, unto Bethpage and Bethany, house of Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sent forth two of his disciples and said to them, Go your way to the village over against you. And as soon as you enter into it, the village, ye shall find a colt there, where never a man sat, never been broke, never been ridden. Now you're not going to hop on any mule or any ad and take off or ride. It's not going to happen. Loose him and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do ye this? Say that the Lord, Lord, has need of him. Not rabbi, not master, Lord. And straightway he will send him thither. And they went their way and found the colt tied by a, the door. Read the words. Without in a place where two ways met. Every Christian gets those two ways. One is the door. And they loosed him. And certain of them that stood there said unto him, What do ye? Loosen the colt. They said unto them, even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the coat to Jesus and cast their garments on him, a saddle, and he sat on him, upon him. Not so easy. And many spread their garments, their clothes, in the way. And others cut down branches off the tree. Now, Mark doesn't say anything about palm. This is what the, the world, the Catholic Church, and the Catholic Baptists call Palm Sunday. We're going to look at it, we're going to study it, and we're going to see how the Baptist Church has become Catholic. They took their garments. All right, so why don't any churches have their T-shirts, their... Sweaters, the jackets up for like they do with the palms. By the way, the, the coming Wednesday after Palm Sunday is Ash Wednesday. They burn the palms and they take the ashes from the palms, and that's what they make the mark of the beast on your foreheads. Just so you know. They spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches off the trees and straw them in the way. They, they purposely put them in the path of Jesus. This would be a symbol as a king. That's not the king of the not the king of the church. And they went before, and they that followed cried, saying, "Hosanna," which means "Save us now." Pretty soon they're going to cry, crucify him. Crucify him. But here comes what I believe. Here comes the triumphal entry of the king. Blessed is he, Jesus, that comes in the name of the Lord. That's Jehovah. Now that's the same Lord that Jesus told the man. Tell him the Lord has need of him. Jesus never said he was God. Well. Blessed be the kingdom of our father, David. There's the book of Matthew, the gospel of Matthew. Here comes the king. Here comes the kingdom of David. This is Matthew. It's the only place where, where Mark sets aside the servant of Jesus to the king, Jesus. That cometh in the name of the Lord, Jehovah. Hosanna, save us now in the highest. Heavens. And Jesus entered in Jerusalem and into the temple. He would enter the throne of David. Because the throne of David is not in the temple. The mercy seat is in the temple. And when he looked 
around about all things. Now the evening time is late and late. 6 p.m. is coming, was coming. He went out to Bethany with, with the 12. So he comes and goes. <laughs> you know what? He came and he went back to heaven. Now we're going to look at some scriptures. Zechariah, Old Testament, Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. Fruits of the Spirit, fruits of the Spirit, 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion, Jerusalem. Shout the doors of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king, capital K, cometh unto thee. He is just, having salvation. Jehovah saves. Save us now. Lowly, not prideful, not lifted up. Riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the fall of an ass. There it is. That's what we're seeing right now. But we're not really seeing it right now because he's not the king. He's the savior. He's the lamb. He's coming back as a lion, as a king. But not now. Don't get your dispensations all messed up. Don't you get the, the first and second coming of Jesus mixed up. Because if you do, your, your, your theology, your doctrine, your Bible will be all messed up. Now let's go to Matthew. And we're not done. Matthew 21. Matthew 21. When they drew nigh to Jerusalem, were come to Bethpage, Mount of Olives, there sent Jesus twelve disciples, saying, Go into the village over against you, and straight ye shall find an ass tied and a colt with her. So there's, there's the mother and the baby. Loose them now, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught to you, he used to say, The Lord, capital L, Jehovah, has need of them, and straightway he will send them. And this was done that it might be filled, which is spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter Zion, Behold the king, capital K, coming unto you meek, and sitting upon an ass, a colt of a foal of an ass. That's Zechariah. Now, when Jesus Christ comes back at the second advent in Israel, what we believe is in Salem, Peter, oh, they're going to be save us. Save us now. Hurry. Because the Antichrist has been running seven years, chasing them for three and a half years. It's going to be, let's see, Rome is a, Rome is authority of Israel. Israel wants, okay, Jesus, get rid of Rome. We're in power. Hooray. Rome is not really a big deal. Because when we come to the crucifixion of Jesus, well, you know, Rome said, okay, we'll take care of him for you. We would rather you take care of him. And, but stoning is not the prophecy. When Jesus Christ comes back the second time, you got three and a half years of Jacob's trouble and complete, absolute hatred for the Jews by the Antichrist. It's save us. <laughs> After all the plagues, all the, the trumpets and seals and the woes, and we need you to save us. That's not the first coming. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded, and brought the ass to colt and put them on their cloak, put on them their clothes, a saddle, and they sat him thereon. A very great multitude spread their garments. In the way. So next time you're at your Baptist Catholic Church and they got the, the palm leaves over there, take your undershirt off and throw it down. Take your pants off, throw them down. Remove your brassiere, throw it down. We read two. We read two gospels so far. What did it say? It said garments and clothes, uh, garments and branches of, from trees, and straw them in a way. And the multitudes that went before they followed and cried, saying, "Hosanna, son of David!" Jewish. That's exactly what the blind man just read that we read the other night. It pictures Israel getting their eyesight. It's not the first coming, it's the second coming. And Israel will be on the side of the road, down by Jericho, down by the Dead Sea, when their eyes will be open as Jesus passes by, 
and he, he will follow, they will follow Jesus when they get to sight along the King's Highway. As we go up the King's Highway, as Joshua did, as we cross the Jordan River, I mean, the church will be there too, and we do what Joshua did. But we're not going to do it as Joshua, we're going to do it as Jesus, and be careful what your Bible say in Acts. Because if it says Joshua, you got the wrong King James Bible. It's the same thing in Hebrews. Blessed he that cometh in the name of the Lord, capital L, Hosanna in the highest. And when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, who is this? Well, the second advent, he's going to be down south. Now, we, we will make our way to Jerusalem. <laughs> Do you want to go to the holy city? I'm going to the holy city. Jesus is going to take me. No Catholic, no Arabian, no one else but Jesus. I'll wait till Jesus takes me. <laughs> You're going to go to the Ark Encounter? I don't need to go to the Ark Encounter. I'll wait till God chills me. Sally? Yes. Well done, God, good, faithful, sir. Thank you very much. Here's Peter. Hey, Peter, nice to meet you. Here's John. Nice to meet you. Here's Adam. Nice to meet you. Noah. Hey, Noah. <laughs> How'd they move your Ark from, from Ararat to the United States? You didn't realize? Oh, we got the Ark in America. Isn't that what the Mormons say? Another testament, Jesus came to America. It's the same philosophy as the Mormons. Now they got it all painted up in the in the in the rainbow colors for the true rain. It doesn't say rainbow in Genesis. If your Bible says rainbow in Genesis, you got a modern Bible that's not the King James. The King James says a bow. The only rainbow you find in the Bible is over there in Revelation, and it's green. Circling the, Read your Bible. The rainbow is not in Genesis. Because then the son of David, Israel, blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord Jehovah, Hosanna in the highest. When he came into the Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? Well, in the second advent, here comes Jesus, Jerusalem. You know, his enemies are getting wiped out. You just look at them. Right now, they want a king. And all the movies said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth. The prophet? They didn't say to Christ. They didn't say to God. They said the prophet. The prophet. Big difference. Muslims say Jesus is a good prophet. I say Jesus is God, Savior, Lord. Okay. Luke 19. Got to watch how people word things. Got to listen. Luke 19, 29. It came to pass when he was come nigh to Bethpage and Bethany at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in which the enters in shall find a colt tied, wherein yet never man has fed. Uh, I apologize for that poem. By my doctors. Go into the village over against you, which ye enter in, ye shall find a coat tied, wherein ye never man sat. Okay, no one's ever going to jump on that donkey. Loose him and bring him hither. Now, notice Luke talks about just the coat. Other passages talk about the mother. Zacharias says, the cult of an ass. Which implies by Zacharias, you could have the mother, but the cult is the main subject. So the world has an intoxicating beverage called cult 45. Isn't the devil slick? And it, if any man ask you, why do ye lose him? Thou shalt say unto him, because the Lord, capital L, has need of him. Look, look how that's not changed. Look how we're looking, we're looking at something 
three times in the Gospels, the, the coming of Jesus into Jerusalem, the triumphal thing, it's more than the birthday of Jesus. And they were sent, went their way and found even as he had said unto them. As they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said, why loose the colt? They said, the Lord, capital L, has need of him. They brought him to Jesus. They cast their garments on the colt. There's the saddle. And they set Jesus therein. And as they went, they spread their clothes in the way. You get that in your Baptist Catholic Church? Do you remember what happened to the blind man we just read? He, he, he got up and he got rid of his cloth and he went to Jesus and said, Will you give me your sight? You know what they're doing? They're taking their clothes off and they're throwing it in the path of Jesus. And when he was come nigh, have we seen anything in three Gospels about palms? Even now to the descent of Mount of Olives, the whole multitude and the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that were as seen, saying, Blessed be the King, there's that again, and cometh in the name of the Lord, there's that again, a peace in heaven. Is there a peace in heaven today? With Lucifer, of well, Satan, going up before God's throne, Job 1 and 2? Where Satan is still in heaven unto Revelation 12? Where the accuser of the brethren, is, it, is that peace in heaven? That's going on today. And the glory in the highest is some of the Pharisees. Oh, here we go. The ruin of fun. From among the multitude said to him, Master, not Lord, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered him saying, If I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Okay? Well, we can't leave now. We got to go to John. We got to go to John. Twelve. Four Gospels. Twelve. All four Gospels. And next day, much people that come to the feast, pay attention, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took palm branches. Oh, one out of four of the Gospels, we find palm branches. Three out of four, we find garments. Three out of four says they just took leaves and trees. They took all okay, We're going to keep reading. We're going to keep reading. And went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed be the king of Israel, not the church, that cometh in the name of the Lord. Jesus, when they had found a young ass, sat thereon, as is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh, sitting in a glass of coal. So that's that. That's the scripture moans of one gospel out of four with Paul. So, now, I'll move this over. Hosanna. Hosanna means save now. Sucker means, S-U-C-C-O-R. It occurs in Matthew 21, 9, also Mark 11, 9, 10, and John 12, 13. Hosanna to the son of David, Jewish, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, capital L, Hosanna and Hyas. This was an occasion of the Savior's public entry into Jerusalem and fairly constru construed would mean the Lord preserved the son of David, Matthew, heap favors on the blessings of him. It is further to be observed that Hosanna was a customary form of accusation on the Feast of Tabernacles. Do you want a birthday for Jesus? It would have been about September, the seventh month, 
the Feast of Tabernacles, the only feast of the Jewish that had eight days, and on the eighth day, Jesus was circumcised. Now, you, you want to read more? Let's read more. Let's look at what the Bible would have said is the honor of the Feast of Tabernacles, not Palm Sunday. By the way, it's never called Sunday in the Bible. First day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, Sabbath. The feast was celebrated in September, just before the commencement of the civil year, on which occasion people carried their hands, bundles, boughs of palms, myrtles, etc. So they brought other tree branches instead of just palm trees. And what did they do with these things? They made booths. Tabernacles. All over the city in the streets, they would gather whatever branches and, and lee and stuff they can gather, and they would build these temporary booths as prescribed in the Old Testament. Interesting. How many booths are built in your Baptist Catholic Church? Oh, I know some Baptist Catholic churches in September, they set up booths, the watermelon-eating booth, the pie-eating booth, the throw-the-dart-at-the-balloon the booth, the get-your-face-painted booth, the, the booth, the, the booth, 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 booth. But it has nothing to do with God. Can you just see Peter painting someone's face like Jezebel? Jezebel painted her face. Can you see the beloved disciple, John? All right, come on up. Take your balloon and... How about this one? How about where we have dunking the pastor? Throw a ball and re-baptize your pastor. How about that? How about that? Booth. Uh... People came. Then they repeated. Ready, ready. Then they repeated. You ready? You ready? Are you ready? They repeated the twenty-fifth and twenty-sixth verses of Psalm one hundred eighteen. Psalm one hundred eighteen. Psalm one hundred eighteen. Twenty-fifth. Do you know something? So Twenty-fifth. Psalm one hundred eighteen. 25th red on your Palm Sunday. 25th and 26th. Psalm 18, 118. Say now, there it is, Hosanna. I beseech you, Lord of Lords. That's Jehovah. I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Prosperity is Jesus. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, is Jesus. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. That's the temple. God is Lord, which showed forth us light. Jesus is the light of the world. By the sacrifice of cord, Jesus is the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. How about that? Is that read in your Baptist Catholic Church? Oh, no, we don't read the Bible no more. They repeat Psalm, the 25th and 26th of Psalms 118 with the commencements with the word Hosanna. Where it says, say now. And from this circumstance, they gave the bowls and prayers. That's the bowls of the trees, branches, and prayers. And the feast itself named Hosanna. That would be the Feast of Tabernacle. Are you praying? Do you call it Hosanna? No, 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 no. The Catholic Baptist Church calls it Palm Sunday. With no t-shirts. And don't give them no idea. You know. Ex-Baptist Church. I ain't talking about those t-shirts. They observe the same forms also. Also. Itself we call his end. And it's a feast of dedication. 
and the Passover. From the, the accustomed to recite the 25th and 26th verses of the Feast of Tabernacles, on this on that occasion, a great halay, H-A-L-L-E-Y, consider Psalms 113 to 118, was chanted by one of the priests. In certain interviews, and the multitudes joined in responses, waving the branches of willow and palm. Oh, palm didn't make it there first time. And shouting as they waved them, Hallelujah, Hosanna. The Lord I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Do you say that? Psalm 118.25? Well, your Baptist Catholic Church is missing a lot of things. So next thing... You know, you're in church and you're having Palm Sunday. Say, oh, I'm enjoying Hosanna Day. Hallelujah. In the glorification of the Feast of Tabernacles. Shall we read Psalm 118, 25 to 26? And watch your pastor and the people in the congregation look at you like the puppy dog in the window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Can't find that in the Hebrew. Can't find that in the Greek. And yet, this is church history. This is talking about Johethus. Uh, it says that Rabbi Gamaliel and R. Johnson, uh, Joshua, R. Joshua, were there by R. Ekba to wave their branches only at the words. Save now, we beseech thee. Each of the seven days during which the feast lasted, the people throng in the court of the temple. Well, we don't have no temple. And went with a procession about the altar. We don't have an altar like the Old Testament. Set in their bows, bending them towards it. The trumpet is sounding. As they shouted, Hosanna, are you bending your toe towards the act? Are your trumpeters trumping in your church? But the seventh day, they marched seven times round the altar. What? That man, they stepped out of the cursed city, and they marched around the city seven times during the feast of Hosanna. Yeah, Hosanna. They marched around the altar seven times. Did you get what we learned last time? Shouting. Well, they didn't shout during the wall of Jericho for the seven days. Joshua said, not word. And when I say you make the word on the seventh day, shout! And the walls came down. Shouting meanwhile the great Hosanna. Again, the Psalm 118. To the sound of the trumpets, the Levites. We don't have Levites. The very children who were called, who called, yeah. The very children who could wave the palm branches were expected to take part in the psalmonity. Do you hand your children the, the palm leaves? Or they're in the nursery. During the church, are they outside playing games? That's some Sunday school. That's some children's class. They're supposed to be learning about the Bible, and they're out there playing games. That's interesting. From the custom of waving the bowls or bowls of the myrtle and willow. I didn't say anything about Palm. During the service, the name Hosanna was ultimately transferred to the bowels them, uh, themselves so that, according to Elis Levitai, the bundles of the willows, the brook with which they carry the Feast of Tabernacles, are called Hosannas. The term is frequently applied to Jewish writers to note the Feast of Tabernacles. 
the seventh day of the feast being distinguished the great Hosanna. I've never heard Palm Sunday and, and, and called uh, the Feast of I never even hear the Feast of Tabernacles in the Baptist Catholic churches. And that's probably the time when Jesus was born. Well, what do you do when, when, December 25th? Bail day. We were in a church and everybody's giving out Christmas cards. And my daughter said, well, what are we going to do? We're, well, we, we took the Christmas card. But what are we are going to do, Dad? I said, we're going to get have a happy new year. Uh, season greetings. Well, when you go to the store, what do you say? You, you do say Merry Christmas. No, I don't say Merry Christmas. As a season greetings. Happy holidays. I don't say holy day. See, you got holidays in the church. You don't have holy days. And this, what we're looking at today in the Bible, and you're looking at the, the Feast of Tabernacles, is a holy day. Feast. What's going on in the Baptist Catholic Church is holiday. There's a big difference between holy day and holiday. And your holidays are not going to be recognized before God, Jehovah. When you get somebody like me who is hated by the church and hated by Christians, you say, listen, he broadcasts on, on, on all the channels that it is the Feast of Tabernacles. That he got it right and you got it wrong. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't get a crown. I'll get something. At least I'll, well done. <laughs> 